Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm briefly going to be chatting about uh, depression and heartbreak and reaching out to any people who are going through a breakup currently. So f uh, for me and myself, I have been through a few breakups in my experience and I've been through heartbreak, I've been through doubts, uh, bouts of depression so I know what it's like and I I'm talking from a place of love now because I want to help as many people as possible who might be experiencing this in their life. So firstly, I just want to let everyone know that heartbreak and depression and hardship is a natural part of life. Everyone must go through this at some point in, in their life. And the thing is, if you are exposed to it, and do experience it, then you can learn from these experiences and become stronger. So when this does arise again in your life, um, it, it's a good thing because you've learned from it in the past, you know how to heal yourself from it and you've become stronger b because of it. So this is a, a very important thing to, to, to take note of and, and to be aware of that if you um, do go through it, this this is a good thing because this is a chance for you to learn, to grow and to, to, to become stronger. So uh, for me and myself, every time I've gone through heartache or um, a breakup, what it's allowed for me to do is it's allowed for me to become aware of how I'm thinking and what I'm thinking and, how, and the thoughts that I'm thinking and how they are affecting me. Also, what it's allowed for me is it's allowed for me to take that pain and and turn it into something beautiful, to take that pain and become a better person because of it. So in turn, the heartbreak and the depression has propelled me into a better person because I wanted to heal from it. I wanted to grow from it. So I've done the things that were going to help me to become a better person, to become a better man because of it. So just know that for light there is dark, for dark there is light, for day there is night, night there is there is day, for evil there is good, for good there is evil. We can't have one without the other. So this is why it's it's so important to to go through depression and go through heartache because it shows you that there's there's, there's two sides to to everything, and to know one side you must you must experience the other side. So this is this is a very very important thing. Now I'm here for for everyone going going through heartbreak. I know how how um painful it can be. I know how how much um struggle is involved with it, and it's a very hard thing. It, it could be one of the um most um toughest emotional things you can experience as a human. But as I was, as I was explaining before, this is a chance for you to become aware of how you're thinking and what you're thinking. And this is a chance for you to grow into a better person. So my advice for, for anyone going through this sort of thing is, is to look at yourself and see how you can grow because of it. See how you can become a better person, person because of it. And do things that are going to help you propel to be a better person. So things like undertaking exercise and and eating the right foods. So so when you when you start to exert your body, you start to lean into, into physical exercise. This is going to be a massive help for you for you in your life. This along with with eating nutritious whole foods, exercise and eating whole foods. These two things combined are, are miraculous, guys. It's highly highly um. Uh, underestimate how powerful these two things are in conjunction with each other as soon as you start to, to physically exert your body and eat the right foods you'll you'll notice small and dr dramatic um small so small changes uh, day by day so it's not like one thing is going to heal your depression or one thing is, is going to heal your anxiety or, or help you to upgrade your thought pattern it's going to take a plethora it's going to take a lot of things a lot of variety of things it's going to take to help you to, to to level up and pull you out of that state of depression or sadness. So some some really powerful things, guys, is to step it is stepping into um into uncomfortability, stepping into uncomfortable situations. You see, if you live a comfortable life for so long, for so long, and then something dramatic happens, something uncomfortable happens in your life, you're not going to know how how to deal with it, and you're not going to know how to become aware and, and um, change your thoughts to, to, to help you heal. 
So this is why it's important to uh, regularly um, undertake things that are going to be uncomfortable. So this could be talking to people you don't know out in public. This could be, uh, as I said, exercise, exerting your body, sweating, uh, physically um, putting, putting good stress on your body. To doing things such as um, taking ice baths, ice baths and, and submerging yourself in cold water is such another powerful tool because what it does is is it really allows you to feel physical and mental uncomfortability. When you can feel physical and, and um, mental uncomfortability and push into the edges of, of uncomfortability, this is such this is such a powerful thing. This in turn will help you to um, this will help you to heal your depression because all depression is, is you and your avatar feeling uncomfortable and you don't know how to deal with this uncomfortability. So when you do things like submerge yourself in cold water and undertake exercise or do things stepping out in, in um, the unknown, stepping out in fear, this is what's going to help you deal with uncomfortability. This is what's going to help you deal with, with the, the, the depression and it's going to help to pull you out, um, out of it and become a, a better person because of it. So just know, guys, the the depression you're going through, the heartache you're going through, the breakup you're going through, this is such an important thing in your life. This is such such an important thing in your life. It's, um, and now, what's going to help help the most is what you choose to do because of it. If you choose to to stay in bed and and do nothing and dwell on those negative thoughts, those negative emotions, this is not going to be good for you. You have to choose to step out, step up. You have to choose to step into those uncomfortable situations. You have to choose to become the best version of yourself. And this is what's going to help you propel, move forward. It's going to help you outgrow the, the, um, those, those thought patterns that are pulling you down. And ultimately it's, it's going to, um, lead you to your happiness again. A few other great things guys would be, um, to undertake new experiences in your life whether it's whether it be go traveling or start up a new hobby uh meeting new people meeting new people is, is a really really powerful one especially when you're going going through a uh, heartache or depression exposing yourself to new people and meeting new people is, is going to help to elevate your mood it's going to um it's going to make you happy and it's going to um pull uh, it's going to pull you away from the d distraction of those negative thoughts, those negative thought patterns. The last thing I'm going to leave you guys with is how to deal with the emotions and don't allow these emotions to um, become stagnant within you. Don't, do not allow these emotions to sit in you and become stagnant and carry them with you when you move in, into it, into the future. If you feel like you need to cry if you feel like you need to scream, if you feel like you, you need to take a baseball bat to the punching bag and release your anger, you must do these things. You must cry. You must release your tears and you must sit with the sadness and, and release it from your, from your body and from your mind. The worst thing you can do is keep these emotions trapped in, in your body and in your soul and carry them with you in, into into your experience because this will affect not only yourself but every, everyone around you guys so it's going to be so important to do uh bioenergetic type exercises so uh, whether it be like like um h h hitting a pillow punching a pillow taking punching a, a punching bag screaming crying go, go to your car go for a drive and just cry your eyes out you're met crying is such a powerful thing it's such an important thing we, we must all cry if you don't feel comfortable crying in front of a in front of other people then then you must do it by yourself you must you must release these emotions and you and you must not let these emotions become stagnant with within your mind your body and your soul because this ultimately is going to be such a degrading thing so don't be afraid to cry don't be afraid to release your emotions this is what is going to help you grow this is going to give you a power done